Co Hodeman keeps a farmhand schedule to bed with the chickens, up with the cows, to drive 60 miles to work, where he leaves the world he woke up in, to return to dreams and fantasy. But Co Hodeman's are very substantial three dimensional fantasies. Harmony, humor, practicality, ingenuity are at the heart of his films. Once upon a time in a faraway land is the way it begins. At 25, he was recently married, had done his military service, and after 10 years working days in a film studio, studying nights, he had finished art school. Being left behind were families and a lifetime of friends, as well as his film work in special effects. But Holland was crowded and lacked opportunities. Canada was their first decision. Their second was to come by sea because a quest, they felt, should allow time to look back and forward too. A Montreal suburb after Amsterdam was anything but crowded. The new arrivals could spread out and they were quite pleased with their impromptu arrangements. No easy place to enter, but the doors of the National Film Board opened to the magic of special effects. As though all along he had been preparing himself for this very job. Later he would be allowed to create his imaginary worlds, but to map and color the real one was the first of his labors of love. Drudgery, of course, is entailed in all human activity, but whether it is felt as drudgery or not affects the way we choose to occupy our lives. Working a farm for pleasure and small profit would not have been feasible in Holland, and Ducca had always thought she would like to marry a farmer. In evolving his creatures, 
He has abandoned anatomical accuracy in order to gain greater control of behavior. In place of naturalism, he puts forceful action, personality, and temperament. Come on. Come on. Hops. Hops. OK. No. Come on. Home is just over the Ontario border from Quebec, but though among themselves they speak English, the children attend a French language school. Anouk, Nathan, and Ninka have a passion for naming all creatures. Not just the dogs, Cognac and Princess, but every rabbit, chicken, and sow in their care. Nathan has even changed his. He used to have the name Jerry as well, but he left it behind, he says, because Nathan goes much better with Hodeman. Dr. Hodeman and the children are Canadians. Only Ko, from Jacobus, retains his Dutch nationality. Snuffle will not have any lines to speak. The creatures of Hodeman's films speak neither Dutch, French, nor English. They are mute, or they talk their own languages, incomprehensible to most of us. The seal skin puppets replaced a documentary he'd contemplated. He found reality less in the visible Arctic than in its folklore. Drawings and cutouts, again based on Inuit originals, got even closer to Canada's pre European culture. Yet the story of the snow blind boy in Lumac has the qualities of fairy tales everywhere. His projects at the film board are of his own choosing. Story, preparation, and shooting are all by Ko Hodeman, with help, when he wants it, from other artists in the French animation unit. Ici, là, peut être rempli d'une couleur, et la tête peut rester assez blanc avec les traits. Mm -hmm. Ben, peut-être comme tu veux. Il y en a, euh, il y en a certainement ici. Ils sont bien marqués. Ici, comme ça. 
Preparations for the vehicle that will give Snuffle his chance take weeks, then more weeks in front of the camera, and all for a screen time measured in minutes. Such is the animator's job, which the Hodeman children scornfully refer to as play. Ik laat hem uh, schreeuw kijken. Wat kan hij? Wat kan hij? Ik kan hem nu weer doen. Dan heb je zo'n purple eyebrows. Dan moet je dat black oog, dat zwarte oog moet je niet vergeten. Oh ja. Het gaat aan deze kant. Yeah. Just do the little at the top. Do you have a beard? Yes, he has a beard. Do you have a beard? No. You got some nickname, eh, Nika? Is it really that hard to put in? No, it's a bit lastig. Sometimes it's the same. That's one? Hey, look at my nice eyebrows. Nika, you see that? I'm like so excited. The fears and anxieties of childhood are not belittled by fairy tales, but assuaged and turned into occasions of triumph and delight. Tonight, Ko Horeman is coming home with an Oscar for his film, The Sand Castle. Horeman began filmmaking in his native Holland at the age of 15, and went on to experiment with various animation techniques at the National Film Board of Canada. Sand Castle took two years to make and explores the delicate balance between man and his environment. Ko Horeman, animator awarded an Oscar for Outstanding Achievement in Film. For CBC News, I'm Linda Reno. Pour monter la toile, là. Prends, prends le clou, tu, tu rentres dans seul. le coin. Oui. Il oui. n'y a pas bon. d'œil. Hein? Juste dans le galon. Oui. OK. Oui. Oups. Non, non, Marie, prends, prends le euh, oui. bras, oui. Et tu rentres entre le deuxième et le troisième, ici, oui. en bureau. Je pense qu'il y a la, la corde qu'on entre ici. ici. Oui. C'est là. Choo Choo tells the tale of a frightening dragon who has been subdued, even put to good use, by slipping wheels underneath him as he slept. An animation technique inspired by the Hodeman children at play.
Holland is still crowded. After winning an Academy Award, you can expect to be asked to travel, serve on festival juries, lecture, and advise. At the Free Academy in The Hague, workshops in the visual arts include film. He details the meticulous adjustments to be made between each single frame shot, if movement is to look unmechanical. And I want that this bein blijft staan, and this bein blijft staan, and the other naar voren gaan, and it's a question of this iets terugzetten. This poot gaat iets omhoog, and it can naar voren bewegen. This set ik terug that he ook op het oude punt komt. This gaat omhoog and beweeg ik naar voren. That is dus voor één beeld. In the treasure of the Gotoshans, with its self-taught technique of suspending the figures, movement is both buoyant and fluid. Want hij gaat zo, hè? Professional guidance and the current high regard for experimental film are reflected in the students' work. So as you see that it's very difficult to do, then you make a very narrow close-up. In close-up, he says, your fingers won't be in the frame as they manipulate the slices of bread. His advice is practical. Tricks of the trade, pragmatic solutions he's had to work out for himself. Okay, I'm going to go to the other group. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it is the voice of experience that cautions, the creator of Sandcastle who says, don't sneeze. Despite all the theories about illusion, perspective and optics, animation can't be learned just from books. It's something you simply have to develop a feel for. So as you want, so that they, this form out of the of out of the water comes great, through them to replace, weg te halen, and through a veel grotere form. Ja, ik doe het niet zo netjes nou. Daarvoor in de plaats doen. En dan die andere, deze die dus eigenlijk kleiner en onder water gaat, een hele kleine form. Laat ik zeggen, je kan zelfs een klein prulletje nemen. En daarvoor, oeps, niet zo mooi nou. Daar neerleg, zie, dan krijg je een een veel dynamischer effect. Holland, during his absence, has become an experimental ground for animated film, among the best in Europe. Old friends have made names for themselves, too. Are his rivals at international festivals? What might have been is not worth contemplating, but discard and loss, see change and recovery, were to figure importantly in his next film. Perhaps it says, what is lost is lost only to us.
Satisfaction comes in all kinds of packages. Loving what you do is a gift which can be passed on to others.